Hi there. In this quick screencast, I want to talk about why especially NetBeans users should be interested in JDK 12 Early Access Build, in other words, JDK 12 EA, Build 18, specifically this one, which was released today. I want to tell you why this is relevant, especially to NetBeans users. We start by looking at NetBeans IDE 8.2. Now, NetBeans for a long time has had self-profiling functionality. So you can profile the IDE itself. So now we start profiling and then we perform some actions um, in the IDE and we start profiling. And this very nice um, profiler pops up with a snapshot of the activities that I've performed, which I can then analyze. This is really nice and useful for debugging purposes. And when I close NetBeans IDE 8.2, the closing of NetBeans is very neat and tidy and there are no artifacts left behind. Now here I am in Apache NetBeans IDE 9.0. And this is running on top of, and this is really important, on top of JDK 11. So you can see here, Java 11. So this is the official release of JDK 11. Now here, you can see again these um, self-profiling buttons, or in 8.2 there was one button, here there are two. So I start profiling the IDE, and I perform some actions of various kinds, and then I stop profiling, and what I see at the end here is, at the bottom is saving snapshot, the profiler doesn't appear, and even if I try to stop Saving that snapshot, I can't. And when I try and close NetBeans, I will still see saving snapshot and a small dialog appears even after NetBeans is closed down. In other words, there are these artifacts, there's all kinds of stuff that is still running and NetBeans doesn't close down properly. If you take a look at the issue tracker for Apache NetBeans, you'll see that there are a range of problems that occur as a result of this. So for example, here you can see this saving snapshot um, never finishes and a, a dialogue appears at the end and you also see an issue that relates to um, profiling the IDE that it hangs when saving the snapshot and I've, I've just shown exactly that problem and a lot of discussion around that. You will notice that Sven Reimers from the Apache NetBeans community did a lot of work in identifying the problem here and that at some point um, developers from the JDK pick up this problem and a bug report is created there and there are a range of related bug reports here that all connect to this particular problem. And fixes are provided but they don't quite work and then Sven provides some extra information and then further fixes are provided and so on. But in the end we are told here that it has been fixed in JDK 12 and it's been backported to 1102. Now specifically where this fix is found is in exactly the EA that I mentioned at the start, build 18 of JDK 12, which was released today. So JDK 12 EA 18, build 18, released today, is specifically the build of JDK 12 that has this fix, which has been backported to 1102, which is not released yet. I believe it will be released in the first quarter of next year. I could be mistaken on that score, but for this reason, it makes sense to take a look at JDK 12 build 18, because that's where that fix is found. Here I am in Apache NetBeans 10. In fact, in the second voting candidate, Apache NetBeans 10 VC2. And when I go to the About box, you can see I am using JDK 12 EA Build 18, this is the important bit, build 18, this is where that fix is found. And we can check whether that's true. We start profiling the IDE, we perform some action of some kind, and then we stop profiling the IDE, and look what happens. We have the profiler shown. In other words, clearly build 18 contains the fix that we were looking for, and when we close down NetBeans, we will not see that message about the snapshot being saved um, because all of that has been fixed. 
In short, if you have been dealing with these kinds of problems and possibly related problems, there could be other issues in NetBeans that are fixed as a result of this, maybe also dealing with performance, you are strongly recommended to make use of JDK 12 EA Build 18. On the other hand, of course, you don't need to use JDK 11 or JDK 12 at all. You could run NetBeans on top of JDK 8, 9 or 10 where this problem does not occur. But if you want to be cutting edge, skip JDK 11 for the moment if you are encountering these problems and these are real problems for you. And instead, therefore, go to JDK 12, Early Access Build 18. And finally, a point to think about is that without NetBeans, this particular problem in the JDK might not have been identified. And without the NetBeans community, in particular Sven Reimers, we might not now have that particular fix in the JDK. Of course, also many thanks to the JDK team, in particular Mandy Jung, for fixing this problem. And now everyone can benefit from it and run NetBeans on top of a very recent build that solves this particular problem. JDK 12, Early Access, Build 18, released today.